Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Shuri Skibson. In one week, we should know what next school year will look like for thousands of Jefferson Parish students. How the school board is deciding if some schools will close or relocate. Yeah, it comes after an outside consultant looked at declining enrollment and the condition of all the buildings mm -hmm. in JP. And this morning, dozens of students at Grace King High School walked out of class. Lily Cummings was in Metairie as it happened. Students at Grace King High School in Metairie are demanding their voices be heard. I've had teachers and people here who have changed my life and um, I don't want to say goodbye to that. Grace King is one of seven schools that would close if the Jefferson Parish School Board adopts a third party consultant's recommendations. <laughs> Students would be forced to attend either Bonneville or Riverdale High School. High school like drama is very much real. I don't know what they, what they think is going to happen whenever our Grace King kids go to Bonneville and Riverdale. Those kids are not going to be the most welcoming because essentially we're being forced out of our home and we're invading theirs. JP School says enrollment has plummeted across the district and they're down roughly 140 teachers. They hope the move makes the district more efficient. We should be looking into the why are teachers not here, where are they, what happened, and then get to the root of that and find a proper solution instead of doubling sizes. Meanwhile, on the West Bank, families are taking action. Parents plan to come together Thursday night to discuss the likelihood of Mildred Harris Elementary closing. A teacher shared her concerns with us off camera. We absolutely did not think we were going to be shut down. She says teachers were vaguely informed of the plan but didn't know specifics. So we are devastated. We feel like our kids are not being considered and they're going to come out on the losing end of this. This is a small community. Mildred Harris is located in Bridge City. They're going to have to buy new uniforms. They're going to be several miles down the road and of course they'll be bused there but children get sick and they're going to call home and some of these people don't have the means to go pick their child up. She says students just overcame the uncertainty of COVID and Hurricane Ida. Now this is another punch. In Jefferson Parish, Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News. Well, Mildred Harris' parents are meeting Thursday night at 6 o'clock at the Bridge City Volunteer Fire Department.